The Ravenloft Gazetteer Volume 3 was released in 2003, written by John Magrum, Stuart Turner, Peter Woodworth, and Andrew Watt, with interior art by Kevin McCain, Jason Walker, and Talon Dunning, with a cover designed by Ron Thompson. It continues the format of being written by our protagonist S, with snide comments by Aislinn here and there, and the DM information in box text. It is 139 pages and covers the domains of Dementalu, Morden, and Richmulot. This will be the first time these domains will have been covered extensively in the Ravenloft campaign setting. The guide begins with S revealing that she has been instructed to wear some kind of magical bracer on her arm given to her by one of Aislinn's henchmen. And she is curious as to what the bracer does, but she cannot take it off. She just knows that it's magical. Now the first chapter covers Dementalu, one of the most technological advanced domains in all of Ravenloft. Firearms are becoming more and more commonplace, and even more common than swords. It values arts above a lot of other things. <laughs> And S tries to interview the lord of the domain, Dominic de Honaire, who can mind control people just by looking at them. Now, Dominic is not the political leader of the domain, but he's a dark lord who kind of hides in plain sight. He pretends to be nobody. He lets her know that he knows she's up to something, and her investigations are about to be limited. We find out that the domains of Dementlu moored it. Borka and Richmond Lot have signed a defense pact against Falknovia. That means if any one of the domains listed above is attacked by Falknovia, the other domains will come to their aid. Because at one time they all have been attacked by Falknovia, sometimes multiple times. More than for a relative modest domain gets a big write up in this guide. It goes over the many noble families that once ruled over land but they have all died out under mysterious circumstances <coughs> except for the Weathermay family. The Westcote family for those who enjoyed Howls in the Night they're mentioned here in this guide and the events of Ravenloft 2 the house on Griffin Hill are mentioned in this guide and an effort is actually made to kind of clear things up a little bit and try to make it a part of continuity I don't think it still really that fits that well but at least they're not ignoring it anymore the domain of Richmond lot seems to have no history before the year 694 and if it just doesn't seem to exist and if any person were to try to commune with a dead person before that date, they simply can't. The domain is ruled by were rats. Now, most of the people of the domain know that were rats exist, and they kind of use them as a boogeyman for any type of mishap. But they just don't know how steeped the were rats really are in the domain. Uh, the people of the domain are very patriotic, and Richmond is a domain on the rise economically and politically, and it's becoming culturally, culturally more and more like the Mentalu, but they are still a few years behind. The DM's appendix contains a couple of new character classes, some new feats, and some new monsters, and the NPCs covered in this guide are Dominic D. on air the Dark Lord of Dementalu. The Living Brain from the Ravenloft Monsters Compendium 2. He's brought back. Of course, he's uh, trying to take over the domain of Dementalu from Dominique. Alnick Ray has been brought back. You remember he was in the uh, Grim Harvest series. He's the Sherlock Holmes of the realm. Uh, he was the constable of Maretta Bay in Darkon, but after the Grim Harvest, things got a little too hot for him there, so he retired and left, and now he's in uh, Port Luntz as a private detective. Lord Godfrey is the Dark Lord of Morden, 
And we have Lord Jules Weathermy, the political ruler of Morden, who's old and his health is starting to fail him. So there's the whole question of the family line going out and who's going to take over when he passes on. Jacqueline Reiner, the Dark Lord of Richmond, is also covered as well. Like the other Gazetteers, this one is a must-have. The domains are greatly detailed, and even the die-hard Ravenloft fan will find scores of new information within them. The dread possibilities are great and many. We learn more about S with her entertaining commentary, and even more clues to Aislinn's plan. The idea that Jacqueline Reiner, a rather low-tier Dark Lord, has a horrible plan in the works to transform Ravenloft shows just how creative and imaginative this guy can be. Again, a must-buy. Lands of Mystery, Landscapes of Intrigue. The Renaissance-like intrigues of Dementalu, the ambitious machinations of Richmond's rulers, the ghost riddle land of Morden. In these ways and more does twisted evil permeate these warped realms, each reflecting the perverse desires of its ruling Dark Lord. The third installment in the Gazetteer setting source book series provides in depth information on the domains of Dementlu, Morden, and Richmond including stories of Morden's lost families and rare insights into the peculiar customs of Dementu and Richmond. Daring and suitable characters, adventures, may take their place among the elite of Ravenloft schemes and plotters, if they dare, or pit themselves against the unexpected horrors that lurk in the shadows of these three realms.